We previously talked about topic sentences, supporting sentences, and concluding sentences. Also, we talked about uh, transitions, right? We talked about some ideas here and there. Today, we're talking about how we organize the paper. Hello everyone, my name is Ekrem Durwish. We're back to writing now. So for example, I have this paper, so how I prepared it to write on it. Alright, good. First, let's imagine this is the paper, and this, this one, alright, we call it edge, alright. So it is the green, alright, the green line, we call it edge. Good. Before you start writing, you need to do two things, all right, to prepare your paper. Good. The first thing is you make margins, margin here and here, okay? So this is margin, this is a margin, and this is the second one. Good. The margin must be like one inch, one inch, all right, good. Number two, you need to make holes in here. Okay, good. So holes, you can make them, for example, here. You can make this one here. All right, so now you have a hole. You see it? <laughs> All right, that's it. Or you can use a punch. All right, it's a punch, like you use it and you make holes and on the paper. Good. Now the paper is ready. Now let's start. The first thing you do is that you make you write your name here, Mr. Erwish. Okay? So Mr. Erwish. All right. Oh my god. Mr. Good. Next, we talk about the date. So today, Sep, uh, 3rd, 2020, okay, this one is no need for it, good. Next, course number or class number or uh, the name of your level or whatever. So for example, here you say class 6, for example. Now I want you to pay attention. If your paper is lined like this, you need to understand one thing. The line, the line after this, we don't write on it, okay? Don't write on it. You go to the next. So here, you start writing your title. Your title must be in the, in the middle of the paper, all right? It must be in the middle. So let's talk about the title here. Things I can use them, things I cannot use them. Alright? You cannot use full stop. You cannot use a comma or semicolon. You can use here quotation mark or question mark. Okay? You can use them. Good. That's all about the title. The title must not be a sentence. You cannot use a sentence, all right, in the title. Unless the sentence is short. Is If it's too short, no problem. But my advice to you guys, not to do that. Don't do that, all right? All right, uh, next. Now, how we make the title, you need to understand. In the title, every word, okay, uh, or every letter that starts the word must be capitalized. Except, except, and, and, the, and any preposition. Okay? These, if they are in the middle of the title, don't make them, capit don't capitalize them, alright? Uh, if they start the sentence, no, you need to capitalize them. Let's take an example. Here, the earth. Earth is important. It's an important word. Okay, so you must capitalize it as a title. All right. Next, we have the. The is an article. 
But because it is in the beginning, all right, of the title, you must capitalize it. Good? Okay. Let's take another example. Importance of water. Water and important are important words. Important, sorry. So here we capitalize it. We capitalize, but here it is in the middle. Okay, we don't capitalize it. Very good. You can, for example, another example. You say, over the moon. Okay? So, and I give you, I give you this, and I tell you, make it correct. So what you got to do, guys, is first you make this one. Over is a preposition, but because it is in the beginning, so you need to capitalize it. Next, that. It is in the middle, so no need to capitalize it. Moon, is it important? Yes, it is. So you make it capitalized. Okay? So you capitalize the important letters in every word. The first one. Okay? Uh, that's all about the title. Done. Now let's go and understand what after the title. Good. Here. After the title, write directly. Okay? Look, if you are using your laptop or computer, then you're going to press the space, you know, space. One, two, three, four, five. Five spaces. But if you are writing on a paper, you can take, like, for example, you can put your hand here. Okay? So, for example, if this is the margin, okay? This is the margin. Put your finger like this and start writing. Okay? So, for example, this is the paper. Put your finger here and start writing. Good? So the same idea here, you will take a space here, all right, and you will write your topic sentence, okay? If you have a space, complete and talk. The second line, don't write on it, write on this one, okay? Good. So you will write here, you're supporting sentence, okay, sentence one. Then here, supporting, okay, supporting sentence two. Then three, after you finish, your, you will write your concluding, okay, sentence. And you finish your paragraph. Good. That's all about it. Remember, guys, the first time, uh, the first line you need to indent. So indent here. We will take it here. Indent. So indent a letter space as I showed you before. You have the paper. Put your finger. Start writing. The first line only. All right. Then after that, see. I started from the beginning. All right. Good. Now, let's talk about what common mistakes that students make when they are writing on their, um, when they're writing a paragraph. Okay, common mistakes. Here we go. Focus on this. What happens? You're writing, you say, there is something wrong in here. What is it? Hmm? Think. Look, the size of my writing. The size here, okay, fine, 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 fine. Here, it is small. Some students, they're writing normally, normally, because they don't have enough space for the word that they need to write. They shorten or they make it small, okay? They shorten the writing. So you make the size smaller. And this is a mistake. If you have enough space, write the word. You don't have enough space, you have two solutions, all right? First, if the word has one syllable, okay? You know what I mean by syllable, right? Good. So thing is one syllable. So if the word is one syllable and you don't have space, clean the place, okay? And write it here, okay? This is solution one. Solution two, if you have the word, it has, uh, it is more than one syllable, okay? Maybe it is two, maybe three, maybe four, or whatever. For example, we take the word experience, okay? So as everybody knows, experience, you can experience, okay? Sorry, experience, so one, two, three syllables. 
In this case, I have a good solution for this. What I have to do, I write one syllable here and then I complete here. Good? So for example, it's another word, it's another sentence, okay? So you write here, ex, you write hyphen, okay? Experience, complete here. This is one way. The second way, sometimes the place here is longer than this, all right? So what you have to do is you do this one. Uh, I will make it here. So for example, let's imagine this is the space. So you write x, peer, okay, make a hyphen, then here, ends. So experience, all right? If the word has two, three, four syllables, five or whatever, you can divide it. But if the word is one syllable, no. If you have enough space, write it. You don't have enough space, move to the next line. All right? Good. That's all about it. Um, another mistake is... That's all. If you have any question, please, guys, you can write it down in the comment. I'll be happy to answer. My uh, other videos, I'll make a video for... Or the second video, I'll make uh, about the types of paragraphs. Then I will explain everyone in a 